Welcome to the program. Hello. Thank you. You're very welcome. Tammy, I hope you found love in your life and heals you and fills you up and gives you some overflow like we were talking about. Yes, I have that with my husband. <laughs> That's great. We'll get it with some good friends too. We need we need lots of it. So mm -hmm. tell me how I can help you. So I, I was calling, I was listening, and I was hearing some of the things that you were talking about as far as um, like just healing, like when, when you not making a person who's been hurt um, responsible um, yeah. for their own healing. And so, and there was something else before, but well, so well, the I, thing is I with my mom. I also said make them responsible for the healing of the person that hurt them in a while they're still being victimized. We don't want that. Right. Right. So that's kind of my issue is um, I, I have an older brother and we have a mother I, that's basically you, very you narcissistic. Said some, you, you said something about your mom. And I, for some reason, I thought you said, so I have this mom who's older than me. And I was going, okay, that makes <laughs> sense. All right. So you got an older brother. He's, he's how much older is he than you? He's a year older. He's a year oh, older. Oh, year older. Okay. And, and how old are you guys? <laughs> how old are y'all? Um, 45, 46. 45, 46. Okay. And you got a mother that's older than both of you. And so what's the issue with mom? <laughs> so she's very, very narcissistic. And she, um, she's even histrionic. And so my brother oh. and I basically have. So you got some yeah, drama, she, we've, drama to the narcissist. Yes. Yes. Yeah, both of us. And so, especially when we were younger, young adults. And um, then there, so we, my brother and I have spent basically a lifetime having nothing to do with each other because of my mom. Mm -hmm. And she tends to isolate and make him be, he's the bad guy, I'm the bad guy to everybody else. So, so we've just moved back home and um, my husband and I and family and my brother and I are actually speaking. We've had to kind of help out our parents with health issues now, and things. Tammy, and so we Tammy, started let, talking. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Your brother and you are now speaking. Were you guys just right. kind of going on your own paths and distant or did you have issues with each other? Had you hurt each other and you were estranged? Um, I, it was just, you know, kid stuff when we were kids. Uh, but mm -hmm. my mom would exacerbate that. She would exacerbate that with both of us. And, uh, um, and so when I would come home to visit, each other. right, yes, that's what she's done. And so as okay. we're talking now, I'm seeing how hurt he's actually been by the things my mom has done. So I've been trying to kind of be there and help him get through some of the issues. And, and so the thing is with my mom, my brother OD'd recently. And a lot of this oh. has to do with the hurt that he's suffered. Yes, that he suffered from my mom. And so in seeing her indifference and um, lack of empathy towards to what his, happened. Indifference yes. to his yes. overdose? Yes. She thinks he's doing it for attention. Oh and so, God. yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what it is. And so I've been trying to be there for him and overcome. And, and as I'm doing that, we're seeing what's happened through the years, what she's done. Puzzle pieces are fitting together. And yeah. so I've I've tried to sit down with her and talk to her about a lot of the hurt from the past and then the hurt that's currently going on. And it's the same behavior from the past that that's resurfaced or it's always been there but since i've been away i haven't had to deal with it on a daily basis yeah. um and so in trying to to talk by with her way, she doesn't want to hear way, it she's in complete why do, why do you have to deal with it daily because my dad recently died and i've had to basically just take over all a lot of responsibilities over this past year that have been you know it's been really challenging because we're in transition ourselves and it's just been overwhelming yeah, and is she and an invalid she, is she is she disabled in some well, way well it, 
there are a lot of circumstances. She was in the hospital when my dad was in the hospital for seizures, and she was in a really bad accident just okay. a few weeks later, and she was recovering. I was trying right. to so, manage So there's legitimate things. stuff that you're having to do to kind of help right. keep her. You know, right. Okay. So, so get, I, I think I got the picture. Get, give me a question. Okay, so we've had this falling out since my brother had this incident because I tried to explain to her what the problem was and what she, her past behavior and her current behavior. She doesn't right, want to she's hear not it. Listening. And okay. so, right. So she just basically just runs away from it, but then she right. goes to other people and plays the victim. And who, is, who does she go and to so, that matters? Who does she go to that matters? Well, really nobody, but it's that she's right. putting on social media, you know, she'll right. say, I've had to cut right. her off from social media. Great. Great. Look, yeah. you are loving your brother here. God bless you. For that. Right. And you guys are, you know, you're building something in adulthood. Remember I talked about earlier that is life producing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have invited her to the party. And you can right. continue to invite her if you want. But, but you have got to understand that what matters here is being on the side of life and going forward. And you're going to love your brother and he's going to love you and you guys' families are going to have something together and aunts and uncles and cousins or whatever. It's he, and you, you're going to be part of this healing and you're going to learn a lot from not only helping him when you're in all of that. And... Let your mother go spew her stuff all over town if she wants, because people will recognize that. But you protect the life from that. And you, know, you could invite her and say, you know, Mom, uh, you know, we had a difficult conversation. Um, uh, if you ever, you ever want to talk about those stuff again, I will, I'll be happy to. But, you know, I'm not, not going to ignore it. We do have to resolve it, yeah. you know, but just don't, don't let, don't let her ruin the next 30 something years. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's just, I think it's a religious thing where I feel like I have a responsibility to make peace. Um, right. Even Show though she continues to hurt. Show me yeah. that. Show uh, me that. Honor your parents. Okay, um. <laughs> honor, honor your parents. I'm going to honor you, Mom, by inviting you into counseling with us so we can have a good relationship going forward. If you don't want to do that, then, um, you know, call me when you do. But I'm going to honor you by inviting you to have a good relationship with us. It's very honoring. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it doesn't say obey your parents except in one instance. In the book of Ephesians, it mm -hmm. says, children, obey your parents, not adults. Right. And I've done that. I, I told her we need to sit down in therapy. And I told her that I'm going to have to That's maintain great. my distance. And uh, look, I want you to love to do her. That. All of that. Right. But, but don't let her. Don't let her continue to ruin your life. Right. Did I miss a question? Yeah. Did I answer yeah, it? Yeah, you did. It it was good because, you know, it it is a thing where I feel like with my brother that through this, these things are, there's some healing going on there. Yeah. Um, Look, I just, I it, don't want to feel guilty for holding, keeping boundaries with my mom. Great. great. I don't want to feel guilty. <laughs> great. Go on Facebook. Go on Facebook and say, I don't want to feel guilty. And I want everybody to come tell you what they've had to do. <laughs> look, look at you. <laughs> you are serving her. You're taking care of all of her medical and, you know, business and all this kind of stuff. That's very, very honoring. That doesn't mean you have to put up with crap. Knives right. being stuck in you. No, you can be a healing agent and say, mom, I can do this for you. And I want to do this for you. I want to help you. Now, if you start, you know, yelling at me or, you know, whatever it is she does, it hurts you. And then I probably have to, uh, I don't know, maybe sometimes I can listen to that. I don't know. I'll put my earplugs in, but probably I won't. But I'll be glad to help with all your stuff. See, you can continue to serve her and have boundaries. There is mm -hmm. no 
There's no verse in the Bible that says, blessed are the doormats, for they shall inherit the heels. That's not in there anywhere. Mm -hmm. Right. And you, I'm a, you, you, you said earlier, it's a bunch of religious stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let's take the re religious stuff and put it over here, and let's go to actually what, the Bible says what Jesus said. He said, he said, when they came to him and said, hey, your mother and your brother, and your, and your sisters, now they're over there. And they, he said, who are my mother and brother and sisters? Who is my family? Those who do what God wants. People that are pursuing life. He said, his spiritual family. Certainly you're going to be loyal to your biological family. But picking people that are on this path with you and protecting that path is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. So don't right. let the religious stuff come get you. Read what the book actually says. Another place he said, he said, you know, people when they follow him, he said, he said, I've come to turn families against one another, a mother against her daughter, his father, you know, and he named all these relationships that are going to, going to have problems because some people are going to want to go to the light and some people are going to want to stay in the darkness. He actually said that. Right. Now, I'm not telling you to not help your mom. Continue to help. Mm -hmm. you. Just I'm telling you to protect what you and your brother have going here in healing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, I haven't, did I really answer the right question? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you helped. It, it did because it just sort of confirmed how I was already feeling, you know, because you can sometimes doubt the path that you're taking. And so, like, mm -hmm. I know that I'm doing the right thing here. I know that, you, you know, even, yeah, even though she's making it seem like we're both against her, it's it's not that we're not against her. We're just trying to say, hey, look, these behaviors are hurtful and harmful can you please stop and she refuses i understand and you know what all you can do is continue to lovingly tell the truth and right some people will continue to attack you attack you but mm -hmm. you are doing the right thing i'll give you one more little tip and then i gotta let you go is this um, you said, you know, you just, you know, you're doing the right thing, but sometimes it's hard and these other messages. I want you to get around some kind of support group with some people that understand this, like a boundaries group in a church or a codependency group or an Al-Anon group or a therapy group. Because when you get in a group and you start telling people some of the hurtful stuff, that's going on, they will help you and they will support you and they will combat those voices inside your head. So I hope you find that as well right. for you, you and your brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Thank you for your call. How many people, oh my gosh, can identify <laughs> with everything Tammy was talking about? You know, if you are a loving and responsible person. Sorry. <laughs> you, you got a hard, you got a hard path. <laughs> because here's what happens to loving and responsible people like Tammy. She cares. And she's responsible. She'll even take over all of this stuff in loving her mom through this. But sometimes if you're loving and responsible, then people who aren't so loving or aren't so responsible can literally play that and take you to the cleaners. And that's why loving, responsible people have to have good boundaries. <laughs>